Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and I am here with lesson number three on learning to use your BeagleBone Black microcontroller. In the first, talked about what all these different GPIO pins do. And in lesson number two, we taught you how to boot up your BeagleBone Black and connect to it by either a simple SSH terminal like PuTTY or connect to it with a remote desktop. What you see here is I have it booted up with a remote desktop, so I'm running on Windows and I am connected to the BeagleBone Black by a remote desktop. I find that the BeagleBone Black, really I like working with it uh, with a remote desktop because the BeagleBone Black, for all the things we like about it, it only has one USB port, so it's kind of hard to hook up a, uh, a keyboard and a mouse and all the different things, and so I just plug it into Ethernet and I connect via uh, remote desktop. To go back and know how to do that, you need to go back and watch lesson number two, uh, BeagleBone Black lesson number two on toptechboy.com or go to our BeagleBone Black lessons on our YouTube channel. But you need to get to where I am now and you learn how to do that with uh, from lesson number two. Or however you want to do it, you want to get to your desktop, okay? And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how you can run uh, Python programs on your BeagleBone Black. I have the BeagleBone Black Rev C, and that Rev C does come with uh, does come with Python already installed. <coughs> so all I need to do I need to open up a terminal window, and let's get it where it shows for you nicely. Okay, and you should be able to see that. So to run Python, the first thing we need to know is we need to know what version of Python we have on the system, whether it's a, a, a vintage 2.7 version or, it's, or if it's a vintage 3 type version. And so the easiest way to do that is to just come to the command line and type Python, and then it puts us into the Python shell. When we go into the Python shell, it tells us that we are on version 2.7.3. This is the version that comes at the time that I downloaded the system. It's the version that comes with uh, BeagleBone Black Rev C. And Python 2.7.3 is the version that I like best. And so that's the version that I am going to be showing these lessons on. And uh, that's the version that you need if you want to follow along right beside me because there's a few things that's different between 2.7 and 3, a few little syntax things. How do I get out of the Python shell? I can hit Control D and I get out of the Python shell. So if you don't have Python 2.7.3, you probably want to get that installed on your uh, uh, BeagleBone Black. But if you already have it, then you can just follow along with me. <clears throat> okay, where am I? Let's look. PWD, I am in the slash root folder because I just logged in as root. And then uh, what is there, ls, you can see that I have created a folder uh, in my root folder, my user root folder called my Python. And you can do that, well, you would do that with make underscore directory and or uh, mk, mkdir and then my my underscore Python like that and you could have that folder too. I don't like to have to enter a lot of path names so I'm going to go on down in that change directory my Python and now I'm down in there. If I look I have an old program I'm going to remove that get everything clean test.py.py or test.py.py okay so I'm ready to make a program now I am going to make a program, so I'm going to nano, that will create a file, and what do I want my file to be called? Hello.py. Okay, so I'm nanoed into the file, I've created the file now. What would I do? Well, let's get some input from the user. So I'm going to say name is equal to raw input. Raw input will bring, bring things in as a string, and then I can say Please enter your name. I put a space there because I don't want the answer to be jammed up against the E. I might put a colon in a space and then close it out. You can see that that recognizes it as a string. Nano does. Lose out your parentheses. And then I'm going to say uh, print and then in quotes hello space and then comma and then nm and then comma and then 
Welcome to Python for Beagle. Uh, yeah, Python for Beagle Bone Black. Exclamation. Close the quotes. Close the parentheses. So anything in quotes is just going to print out. And if you guys don't already know this, as you are learning to program, make sure you format things good. If you don't put a space right here, when the person answers your prompt, it's going to ram it right up against the name and it's going to look similar. If you, when you say hello, you need to put a space right there so that it, when it puts the name in, it's going to look good. And then uh, I'm going to need a space here. Oops. I'm going to need a space before the W so the W isn't run right up against the name. Okay, how do I save my program? I do Control O. It's going to save it as Hello Pi, which is the program that I or the file that I created. That's good. I hit Enter, and then to get out, Control X, and now I'm out. Now to run the program, I just say Python. I don't have to put a path because I'm in the same folder with this, and I'll say Hello.py. Ooh, what did I do wrong? Uh, oh, I see. I'm going to nano the file again to edit it. And uh, when I did the print here, I didn't, I'm not using the parentheses, and so I need to take that parentheses out. How do I save it? Control O. Do I like that? Yes, to take it. All I've got to do is just type enter. <coughs> and now to get out, Control X. Now let's try to run the program. Python, hello pi, and it says, please enter your name. I am Paul. And there, it says, hello, Paul. Welcome to Python for BBB. So that looks good. So now you can see how to run Python. We've got it. We've got, we're able to connect remotely. We're able to edit a Python file using nano, and then we're able to run it. So we've got everything that we need in order to start doing some really neat things. In the future lessons, what we're going to start doing is we're going to start working with these GPIO pins. How can we do a digital write to the GPIO pin? How can we simulate analog out using pulse width modulation or to PWM? We will, and then we will do uh, digital in, and we will use analog in. So we'll do digital write, analog write, digital read, analog. With that, you can do just about anything that you would ever want to do on the Eagle Bone Black. Paul McWhorter for toptechboy.com. Tune in shortly for our next lesson.